the passion, the love, the the smiles, the energy. The, oh, I love you too. You're all so special, and I realize why. It's because of familia. There's like... That's right, and Latinos are very family-oriented. And I can feel, I feel that love, that family love, that unity. What is it? <laughs> so let me ask you this. So uh, it's, be, it's be, a be, lot be, of that. It's, yeah. it's all of that. So what you see, and you're going to face me, so what you see on the show is this, right? But what sometimes we do is this, and then someone runs in and gives me a heart. <laughs> <laughs> we freeze, they give me the heart, and I pull it out. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes we just do this, we freeze. Someone comes in, they put the heart in my hand, and I hold it here, and I pull it out. So, I mean, I, if I could really rip into someone's chest, I would. <laughs> we're not going to do that now. But I, there would be a lot of dead people. So, <laughs> to preserve lives, we, we fake it. We appreciate it. <laughs> when I was a kid? Yes. <laughs> I think visualization is everything. My father used to say this to me. My father was a professional baseball player. We played here in Puerto Rico, and we played um, in the States for the Phillies and the Indians, and um, he always said to me when I was playing softball, because he didn't have boys, so I was a tomboy, and he said, okay, mommy, I want you to see the ball going past, like over the second baseman's head, before you hit it, and I was like, okay. And visualization is a very powerful thing. If you see it happening and you just keep seeing it and don't lose that, you can manifest it. It can happen. And I always saw myself there and wherever I wanted to be. I was going to be working in the industry. I was going to be doing what I loved. And there was no one that can persuade me to do differently. And, you know, when I was younger, a lot of people don't know this, and I don't mind sharing it, but I grew up in Brooklyn, and in the 80s, 90s, when it was, like, not a good place to grow up. And I always wanted to go to LaGuardia High, which was in Manhattan. And my father said, absolutely not. You're too young to get on a train at 6, 7 in the morning. You're 13. And I cried, Bobby, please, please, please. And he said, no. And it killed me. And I thought, that's it, my dream's over. And then I realized, no, I just have to go about it differently. So if I didn't get to go to that school, I was gonna go to a different school. And so visualization, see yourself there. Really see it, take that time, think about it, and see yourself there, and you will get there. Hello, welcome Hi. to Puerto Rico. Thank you. I wrote down my question in case I got nervous and forgot. Uh, you mentioned that after you watched the pilot, you realized the show was going to be big. But did you think that the evil queen and the villains were going to be more popular than the heroes? That's a very good question. I had no idea. Although I will say, I've always been a fan of Robert Carlyle's. I knew that he was going to be very popular. I had no idea if Regina was going to be this popular. 